What up, YouTube? Here with a post-fight video of the Clarissa Shields versus Vanessa Lopez Joannis. This was for Joannis' WBC heavyweight title. And Joanna, she won the vacant WBC heavyweight title in the last fight when she defeated Vidal via unanimous decision to be crowned the WBC heavyweight champion. This was her first defense after becoming the new successful WBC heavyweight champion from her last bout versus Abril Vidal. And prior to this fight, she had one defeat that was also via, also via TKO versus Alejandra Jimenez. And that was her first crack at the WBC heavyweight title, which where she was unsuccessful in obtaining that title because she had got knocked out by Jimenez. And she went on a three or four fight win streak prior to defeating Vidal to successfully captured the WBC heavyweight title before heading into this fight versus Shields for her first defense of the WBC heavyweight title. And I thought that I'll give y'all a background on LePage Joannis. And that's because not a lot of people knew about Joanna's heading into this fight, regardless of the fact that she was the defending champion, she was the Bisa when it comes to the drawing aspects and the marketability when it comes to the promotional aspect of the sport of boxing. And as far as Clarissa Shields goes, arguably she is the most notable name that's currently competing in women's boxing. And she doesn't have a lot of competition. She is the undisputed middleweight champion. And before that, she was a unified and I believe undisputed at light middleweight. And she's a former welterweight champion as well. And she's dominated all her opponents in her current ongoing undefeated professional boxing career that she even ventured out to mixed martial arts to try her luck over there. That's how dominant she's been throughout her ongoing professional boxing career. And she took on a new challenge in her last fight versus Joannis by stepping up from middleweight and skipping super middleweight and light heavyweight to step up to heavyweight. She put on a mass amount of pounds to make this fight happen and surprisingly she wasn't looking bad and she looked in shape and you could tell the size difference with the amount of weight that she put on in preparation for this fight at heavyweight and that was a concern heading into this fight for those that was in tune with the lead up to this fight with Shields and Joannis was Shields going to have that same fluidity and that same mobility that she displayed very well during her fights at middleweight and at super welterweight. And will she come to this fight looking more sluggish and slower because of the few extra pounds that she puts on for this fight versus Joannis. And she showed that she still had that fluidity, that movement, and her agility and athleticism was still maintained for this fight versus Joannis, despite the fact that she looked much more heavier in this fight than we're used to seeing Clarissa Shields compete at. And she looked like a natural doing it, and she dominated. She put on a A-side performance like she always does, and she was able to become the new WBC heavyweight champion by stopping Vanessa Joannis in the second round. And she dropped Joannis three times. The third time she dropped, she dropped Joannis in one round, in the second round, where the fight was called to an end. The final time Joannis hit the canvas, that was enough for the referee in Joannis's corner to say enough is enough. And 
Clarissa Shields made quick work of Joanna's to become the new WBC heavyweight champion. And now this further cements Clarissa Shields' legitimacy as the number one pound-for-pound female boxer that's currently in the sport of boxing and women's boxing and definitely the most notable name, at least on this side of the hemisphere in the Americas, because you could consider Kaylee Ta- Katie Taylor, who is also an undisputed lightweight women's champion who's been dominant for a long time. She's not unbeaten like Clarissa Shields is, but she is very well recognized as well, and she has that same credibility of being a undisputed champion in her own weight class. And then, of course, there's also Amanda Serrano, who is the undisputed featherweight women's champion who has been making a lot of noise in the top of women's boxing. And Amanda Serrano and Katie Taylor are scheduled to have a rematch later on this year from their fight back in two years ago where um, Katie Taylor got the best of Amanda Serrano via majority decision and that was arguably the best fight of that year and they are much more closer in weight than Clarissa Shields is with notable names such as Amanda Serrano, Katie Taylor, Chantel Cameron, Alicia Baumgartner. Clarissa Shields is a heavier fighter than the those fighters that I had named that is amongst the elites in female boxing and that are champions in current women's boxing. And Clarissa Shields, unfortunately for her, the more marketable names do fight at lighter weight classes. If she were to fight a Baumgartner, a Serrano, a Taylor, a Cameron, or even a Michaela Mayer, she would have to drain a lot of weight to make those marketable big money fights to make happen. And as you know, she's not showing interest in moving down. She moved up to the highest weight class at heavyweight and was successful in her debut fight at the heaviest weight class that is available in women's boxing. And she dominated. She looked like a natural at it. She looked sharp. Her punch placement was there. Her head movement was top notch. And her ability to telegraph her opponent's attacks and to catch and shoot style of Clarissa Shields and her athleticism, all that was at display in this fight versus Joanna's. And I don't know if Clarissa Shields is gonna look to stay at heavyweight and look to capture all the titles that's above the middleweight division if she's gonna go for the light heavyweight titles next or if she's gonna look to become undisputed champion as super middleweight next or if she's gonna look to capture all the titles and become undisputed at heavyweight as well and it's gonna be much harder for Clarissa Shields who moved up all the way to the heaviest weight limit at women's boxing at 175 it's gonna take a lot of work for her to get to even middleweight so I think her wanting to compete at any lighter weight class and middleweight is highly unlikely speaking for Clarissa's sake it's gonna be in her best interest to compete at heavyweight and at super middleweight and if she want and if she wants to continue defending her undisputed middleweight titles She's going to have to work her body back down to the middleweight weight limit from where she had her last fight competed at at heavyweight. And from past cases from elite fighters that have moved up to heavyweight and decided to cut their weight to go back to competing at the weight class that the fans are used to seeing them compete at, it hasn't worked out the best in many cases not for all but for many elite fighters that have stepped up in weight and moved back down it it's always been a 50 50 thing for fighters in those cases now that's why i say it would be best for Clarissa shields to stay at heavyweight or stay relatively close to that weight limit where she last competed at and as far as Joannis goes, as I said, this wasn't her first defeat, let alone her first 
TKO defeat that she has suffered. This doesn't mean this is the end of the end of the road for Joanna. She could still compete amongst the top of the heavyweights in women's boxing. Of course, the heavyweight division in women's boxing until Clarissa Shields decided to step up and try her chances at heavyweight. They weren't making much noise and there isn't a lot of elite fighters in women's heavyweight boxing, at least notably speaking. The most notable names in the heavyweight division when it comes to women's boxing right now is Raquel Miller and um, there's Raquel Miller, Lonnie Daniels, who are considered to be at the top of the heavyweights. And that was before Clarissa Shields decided to move up to heavyweight. And with all due respect, Raquel Miller and Lonnie Daniels aren't that well recognizable when it comes to the public knowledge when we're talking about notoriety. And... Clarissa Shields moving up to heavyweight brought the attention that she already had to a division that wasn't that much focused on. And I don't know if Clarissa Shields for her next event, if she's going to have a MMA fight or if she's going to defend her undisputed middleweight titles or try her luck at light heavyweight or defend her newly won heavyweight title. Who knows what Clarissa Shields is going to do next. She hasn't been active in boxing prior to this fight for a year. And her last MMA fight, her last MMA fight was February earlier this year after she was able to avenge her first MMA defeat in her professional MMA career. And she was successful at that fight so her most recent MMA fight was more recent than her last boxing bout before this fight versus Joanna so who knows what Clarissa Shields is going to do next if she's going to look to gain another victory in MMA or if she's going to look to have a boxing bout before she steps in to a MMA fight and she fluctuates between both sports so who knows what Carissa is going to do next but I just want to say congratulations to Carissa Shields on her ongoing successful illustrious impressive professional boxing career she's still undefeated now she's a new champion at a new weight class and this is a good look for her and Best of luck to both Joannis and Shields. And that does it for this post-fight video, y'all. Subscribe to this channel for more content. If y'all like this video, y'all can hit the share button. And, and click the links in the description to show y'all support for this channel as well. Anything would be appreciated. And I'm out, y'all. Be good and peace.